Hello and welcome to Conlang Colligraph's Everyday Vulcan Language Lessons, with all credit to Mark R. Gardner for creating the language. Lesson 4. I have been and always shall be, past and future tense. Kinantor nashve e dungi konsum to haile to do. This means, I have been and always shall be your friend. And by the end of the episode, you should be able to understand exactly why it means that. But to start with, let's back up and introduce a word that's nowhere in the Vulcan version of that quote. Friend. Thra. Thra. This is the pretty general word for friend and not the one used in the quote, and you might actually already know why that is. But either way, we'll definitely get to that. Another word. Always. Konsum. Konsum. And for a change of pace, a prefix. Of or belonging to. T. T. Spelled T apostrophe, the T prefix basically means the same thing as of or the English apostrophe S. It's usually easiest to think of it as of, though. But how is it used? Let's say you wanted to translate the phrase, your friend. Using the word for friend that we just learned, you would say that thra to do. Thra to do. Basically, it means friend of you. The t prefix word always follows the noun it's owning, but if you just keep it in your head as of, you shouldn't have a problem putting it in the right place. So now's a great time to remember the little song I introduced at the end of the podcast version of episode one. If you're following along on YouTube, here it is. Nam tor nashve, nam tor nashve, thra to do, thra to do, dungi quansum thra lar, dungi quansum thra lar, nashve tu, nashve tu. By now, the first half of that short song should be starting to make sense. Nam tor nashve thra to do. This one is a friend of you. Or, more naturally, I am your friend. Okay, now to actually get to the tenses I promised in the title of the lesson. There are three types of verbs in Vulcan. Tor verbs, like nam tor. Au verbs, like ze shall. And irregular verbs, which is anything that doesn't end in tor or au. This is important because they handle tenses a little differently. The basic past tense for tor verbs is the word vesht. Vesht nam tor means was or were. It's not prefixed, it just sits there in front of the verb. Irregular verbs also take vesht. For au verbs, the u at the end changes to an l. So, zesha, bite, becomes zesha, bit. You don't use vesht. But what if you want to go even more past than that? What if instead of just was, you want to say have been? This is called the perfect tense, and where in English you use have or has, in Vulcan you use the prefix ki. On tor and irregular verbs, it's prefixed onto the plain form of the verb. Kinam tor, has been or have been. Kinam tor. On au verbs, it's actually prefixed on the basic past form. So, ki zeshal, has bitten, have bitten. Ki zeshal. This is yet another rule I'm constantly forgetting. I don't know how many times I've prefixed ki onto the au form of the verb, and I'm certain I'm being silently judged for it. Now, the future tense for all verb types is dungi. Dungi. The only difference is in punctuation. Dungi is prefixed onto au verbs and irregular verbs, but stands alone in front of tor verbs. But in all cases, it's the plain form of the verb. Incidentally, if, like me, you're one of the people whose dialect doesn't differentiate between will and shall, you're in luck. Vulcan doesn't either. And that means I don't have to look it up again. So, will be. Dungi nam tor. Dungi nam tor. 
will bite. Dungi zeshal. Dungi zeshal. So now, if I tell you that lar is just the plural suffix, we can get back to the song. Dungi kwan sumthra lar. Wait, you're saying. I hear the dungi, but where's the verb? Well, since it's not prefixed to tor verbs, that means the rule about being able to drop nam tor is still in effect. So the full version of the sentence would be dungi nam tor kwansum thralar. We'll be always friends. Or more naturally in English, we'll always be friends. So with the nam tor, it's dungi nam tor kwansum thralar. But once you drop it, it's dungi kwansum thralar. As for the last line, nashve tu, that's just the words for me and you. And since nashve ends with a vowel, it's the tu version of you. And yes, strictly speaking, you'd want an and squeezed in there, but we're taking poetic license and just throwing a dash between them and calling it good. Speaking of and, and, he, alone or after a consonant, or e, after a vowel. So, me and you would be nashve e tu. That's two sound change rules for the price of one. So we're almost ready to get back to the sentence I promised you at the beginning. One more word. Tahila. Tahila. Friend, brother, lover. This is a super fun one, and one of the few truly canon words of Vulcan. It was coined by Gene Roddenberry to describe the relationship between Kirk and Spock, in a way that you could sneak by the censors. Incidentally, it's not gender-specific, so feel free to add sister or sibling to your definition. So, finally! Kinam tornashve e dungi kwansum tahailad to do. Kinam tornashve. I have been. In this case, you can't drop the nam tor because ki is prefixed onto it, and it has to sit on something. Edungi konsum. And always shall be. With the dropped nam tor, because dungi is not prefixed in this case. Tahila to do. Your friend. And more. So, Kinam tor nashve e dungi konsum tahaila te du.